Okay, got sci-fi block here for February. Uh, let's see how Here we go. Uh, okay, oh. Well, I, I can't remember what the theme is, and I don't. I'm sort of thinking Marvel for some reason. Uh, I'm going to start with the shirt. Oh, not from Shirt Punch. The Gildan shirt. Okay. I, will, I guess this is an I Love Star Wars shirt. Or I don't really know what that symbol is. SWF Star Wars, I guess. I don't know. What else would it be? Nice black shirt for sleeping in. That's good. Uh, I have no idea what Guardians of the Galaxy is, but I now have a Poco Pop. The Yondu. I like the name. Oh, look at that. I could have got the Dancing Grout. That would have been cool. I don't know what a Dancing Grout is, but... Yeah, I know absolutely. This is a Marvel thing, though. I don't know what Guardians of the Galaxy is. Sorry. Uh, I got a. Oh man. In a way, this is cool. It's a Stormtrooper toboggan, uh, which is is pretty cool. So I, I just personally, absolutely love toboggans. I think it's because when I was little, I always had my mom always plaster, you know that. You couldn't go outside in the winter without that toboggan on and, you know, and turtleneck sweaters. So I've hated both of them ever since then. Stormtrooper. But, I mean, for a, for a toboggan, this is a nice toboggan. If I was going to wear a toboggan, this would be the kind I'd want to wear. It's pretty cool, Stormtrooper. Huh? But, <laughs> I just hate, I hate toboggan. And I say toboggan. I don't know if that's right enough. That's how we talk down here. Uh, this is Star Trek on the back. And that's the only thing I recognize. I don't know what the heck this is. Got a little, <clears throat> got a little thing here. Is that like a... Uh, oops. Maybe that's supposed to be like the... Uh, the whatchamacallit. You know, the... Beam me up, Scotty Collar. Can't think of the name of it. Just a little mini pad, just a little notepad. I guess that's supposed to look like the computer stuff. I don't know. And boy, there's not much in here. Alien with metallic flesh. A reaction figure. I do like this. Now it shows four on the back here. I don't know if, if everybody got one of the four. If we all got the same one, I don't know. You got Ripley, Kane, Kane with the face hugger, and the alien. But yeah, I'm happy with the alien. I like I like alien. You know the movies. I just don't like Sigourney Weaver. Never have. So that's pretty good. And only only thing else in here is our stuff. Okay. Okay, March. This March sci-fi block is bringing you a timey wimey. It actually says that timey wimey item from Doctor Who. You can also expect some fantastic items from Star Wars and Funko. So I'll probably like next week's next month's box a little more than this one. Uh, let's read here. Apparently, our feature item was the toboggan, or as they say, Star Wars pom pom beanie. Which is an even gayer name than Tobagan, but... <sighs> in cold weather, Imperial Stormtroopers are known to wear beanies under their helmets. Somehow I doubt that. Uh, yeah, I love Star Wars. It says, it says Shirt Punch T-shirt, but... It's not a Shirt Punch tag on there. But I'm going to have to call shenanigans on that one. I've never seen a shirt punch shirt that didn't have a shirt punch label. <sighs> so take on the classic New York tourist shirt. 
I swear it's, it refers you to shirt punch, but I'm telling you. There's no hanging tag. There's no hanging tag, shirt punch tag like you normally see. And this says gilding. This is not shirt punch. I do not believe, unless they're choosing to manufacture shirts under a pin name now. So, who knows? Funko Pop Vinyl. I guess you could have got the collector. Who I, I would like because they look a little bit like John Pertwee. You know, the third Doctor Who. Uh, Funko Reaction Alien. This figure is designed with classic 80s toy aesthetics in mind, so it would look right at home beside your other similarly sized figures. Which one did you get? So apparently you can't get any of the four. Yeah, I, I kind of should. I, I kind of like to have the, the guy with the faith hugger, but that's okay. And the Star Trek communicator, that's what I can think of. Notepad. Which is apparently the only exclusive in this box. If you're anything like us, you're known for talking to yourself while jotting down notes. No, I don't jot down notes. I talk to myself all the time, but I don't generally jot down notes while I'm talking to myself. Uh, a low end take on a high end device. So, I don't know. This is, this is not my favorite sci fi block. I mean, I love Star Trek, but I like the alien figure. And you know, if I knew anything about Guardian of the Galaxy, I'd probably like this. But I have no idea. I know nothing about it. The shirt's okay, but uh, I'm telling you, it's not a shirt punch. I know what they say, but this is not a shirt punch. That's shenanigans. And I rather do like this toe volume because it reminds me of the Raiders colors. I am a Raiders fan. Please feel sorry for me. I've had a very hard 25 last years. But, like I said, I just don't wear toboggans. So. And, you know, I'm in North Carolina. It's, I mean, it's supposed to get down to the teens tomorrow. But we're not usually, you know, it's not exactly Minneapolis weather down here. We lay our own clothes all the time. So, but that's it. Uh, two clothing items, which is a little unusual. And, and I'm sure there's some value here. But uh, I'm sure a lot of people love this box. It's not my all-time favorite. I mean, this does not say I love Star Wars to me. This it's is like, I'm going to wear this and they're going to play. What the heck is that? What's SW? And I, I'll say Star Wars and then they'll say, well, what the heck's that symbol? I'm sorry, I ain't got no idea. I don't understand what the symbol is either. So, of course, I'm not a New Yorker. Maybe the New Yorkers know what that means. But that's it for this month. Uh, you know. We'll see what we get next month. You can't love every month, you know. <laughs>